A couple days ago, I made a video on the 25th item in Dissidia and T, and while I described what kind of category the item would have ended up in, I didn't actually talk about the item itself, what I thought it would be. So I might as well take the time here today to talk about what I think the 25th item is actually going to be in Dissidia and T. In that video, I came to the conclusion that the secret item would either be a 5th HP attack or another alternate costume. So I thought, well, let's go over some alternate costume ideas that it could have been or some extra HP attacks for certain characters. Anyways, let's begin. Most of the characters in Duo Desk could just get their EX bursts back. Furion, Warrior of Light, Squall. I mean, of course the EX bursts would have to be reimagined to work in a atmosphere where they're not in a cinematic visual. But Cloud's Omni Slashes already been turned into an HP attack in Dissidia and T they can use at any time. So I'm sure you're gonna be done with other characters' EX bursts from Dissidia Duodecim as well. Now some characters just can't have their EX bursts turned into HP attacks. For example, Onion Knight. Onion Knight's EX burst in Dissidia Duodecim had a little menu come up and you had to choose like, you know, the right option out of it. It was like the old Final Fantasy games. You, you can't just have a menu come up in the middle of an arcade match. Like, what would happen if Onion Knight gets hit? Would the menu just glitch out? I don't know. But you just can't have that in a game like Dissidia NT. So if Onion Knight did get a 5th HP attack, I would like to see the booster, you know, attack that he used to have return in some way. He had two abilities called Strength Booster and Magic Booster. Strength Booster increases your physical damage and defense by 10% and your critical hit rate by 5%. And then Magic Booster did the same thing but with your magic. Now how would this return as an HP attack? Well... I can imagine it being a little uppercut that Onion Knight does. And you either get a magic uppercut or a physical uppercut, depending on if you're in Onion Knight mode, Sage mode, or Ninja mode. Ninja always gets the physical uppercut, Sage gets the magical uppercut every time, and Onion Knight gets either one, doesn't really matter for him. Another character with an EX burst that was based off a menu was Shantoto. Now, her 5th HP attack could be Empirical Research. And what I'm about to say sounds really douchey, but I'm not going to describe it at all. Just search up yourself. Trust me, it is so fucking cool what the attack is. They could put that in Dissidia as a, like a quick, I don't know, or not a quick, but a, like, like, but like a good HP attack. I can't describe the actual attack itself or I'll spoil it, but it is so cool. Anyways, that could be your 5th HP attack to replace her menu EX burst. 5th HP attack for Yustola, I could see being a size, which is an attack in Final Fantasy XIV, which is an instant area of effect attack where these, all these like little lines come out of your white mage and they hit enemies for a, a moderate amount of damage. It also heals whatever party members it hits and it heals the, uh, the, the healer if you use it. Now I can see this being translated to Dissidia and T as an attack that only works if you actually land it. And if you do land it, it heals anybody actually, it heals any teammates it actually hits as well, just like in Final Fantasy XIV. I can see being almost exactly like Holy, except with no armor and no absorb. Just, just so that people still use Holy instead of just always using a size for its healing benefits. For Rams's fifth HP attack, I could see an alternate version of Triple Break. Maybe it's three projectiles, I guess. Anyways, it would be it would be Salve, Tailwind, and Chant all together in one attack. Now in Final Fantasy Tactics, these three moves were actually support moves. They weren't attacks. But I thought it'd be cool to bring these three classic moves back in Rams's move set, because you know. They're classic moves, people still use them in playthroughs of the game to this day. Anyways, let's go over what each one does. Salve removes Blind, Silence, and Poison. Tailwind increases an ally speed by 1. And Chant halves your HP to give your ally double that. Now as an attack in Dissidia and T, I can see being that each attack does one of these things. The first one would be Salve, the second one would be Tailwind, and the third one, the one where the HP attack would actually take place, would be Chant. And rather than half your HP, it would just hit the opponent, and half the HP damage you do would be given to your allies. South could pretty much remain unchanged, while Tailwind would increase your ally speed by 10% while dashing. Ace could have his 5th HP be blindsided, which was a trap type move in type 0. Basically, Ace would place a small circle down on the ground, and then you get the command to flip the card, which made the attack actually work. In Dissidia, I could just see being automatic. You put it down, you walk away, it just works when somebody walks over it instead. Finally, for Noctis, uh, Magic Grenade. I don't need to explain it, just give him a magic grenade. Have a little indicator appear for a second, then have thunder, or fire, or blizzard come crashing down whoever's in there. For the villain's 5th HP attack, most of the EX bursts could be reused again. However, there's some I just don't see working, like Kuja. Kuja's would just be a reskin of Ultima, which is boring. Kuja could also gain Demi from Final Fantasy IX, which is basically just gravity. And the way I could see it working is that he throws out a projectile that hits you, and then if you get hit by the projectile, it starts dragging you down very slowly. It does damage to you all, all the way down, like, I don't know, 16 every, you know, half a second or whatever. And then when it finally lands, then you take all the HP damage. And I can see being interrupted by having your teammate hit Kuja. 
But um, that's an idea for an HP attack for Kuja. That could be interesting. Garland's EX Burst also wouldn't work as a 5th HP attack. So I could see being one of Chaos's attacks actually from Dissidia. Divine Punishment specifically. He would cast and then shoot a giant laser out of his chest. If you're on the ground, it's horizontal, and if you're in the air, it's vertical, downwards. And it would have a bit of wind-up, but, um, I think it's just a really fucking cool attack, I'm not gonna lie. It might, have no, it might not have much practical use, but... <laughs> lasers out of your chest, bro, that shit is fucking cool. There's no way to deny that at all. Golly, that took a lot longer than I thought it would. I'll put my 25th item being a costume guesses in another video. Anyways, I'm Blue the Hedgehog. See you guys next time. Stay safe, and... Bye to City NT, January 30th. Oh, I almost forgot. If you also think the 25th item is going to be an HP attack, put your guesses down below for whatever characters you like. Anyways, I'm Blue. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.